I've been working with Harris and Nigel and Chica on doing these musical connection events online, using music to help us feel a little bit better and connect with other people. And doesn't it show what music and the strength of spirit can do for us, for our, all of us, for our well-being? It's been so revitalising and energetic to see a lot of you connect with us and see you all moving with us and enjoying the music. We've got some fantastic musicians and singers giving up their time for you. And music can be helpful. People can get stuck, both in their emotions and in their bodies. We are looking to give beautiful, enlivening emotional journeys. I love the idea of listening to music with your whole body. Even our relationships are our bodies in relationship to other people. This isn't wishy-washy new age stuff. It's got really good science behind it and it works and it has no side effects. I really enjoy these evenings and look forward to many more. Good evening everyone and welcome to Wellbeing Live Connection Through Music. As you could probably tell through our slideshow this, uh, at the start of this, we're celebrating Valentine's Day and that's celebrating connection of love with people that could be a romantic love, could be love with family and friends and it could be love for our neighbours and people in our community. I'd like to thank uh, Dr Andrew Kennedy for sending those wonderful, beautiful quotes and those images and I know when I received them, they really lightened me up and we hope that it did to you too. Before we get started, we'd like some answers from you. So I'm going to pass over to Joseph, who's my co-host and helps me on a weekly basis running these shows. And without him, we would not be where we are today. So over to you, Joseph. Hi. Hi. We've all just been wondering, would you like to... Would you like to write in the chat songs that remind you of love? Also, we would like to know what iconic place in the world was built to show their love. All you can do is now interact with what people are saying. So if you get the chat. Andy's been telling us that love hurts. Martin said that the Taj Mahal was built to show love. That's excellent. Ali, Ali one, one of our, our um, welcome singers, to one of our favourites. Fly to the Moon, and also correct with Taj Mahal. CK Fuel, one of our loyal listeners. If I ain't got you, I think that's coming up in today's programme, so uh, that's something to look forward to. So, we're going to start with uh, this evening's show, and to begin with, I'd like to introduce to you Dr. Chika Robertson. Thank you, Paris, and thank you so much, Joseph. We do like having family members on this, this show, and it's just wonderful that, Angela, your talented son, Joseph, is manning this show, often from Mars, I think, because he's going to be ruling the world with it. And that was great fun, Joseph. Thank you. 
It is wonderful to see everybody here. We have a brilliant program of wonderful, per wonderful per performers tonight. But just to see all of you, I find very moving because this is a program, as Paris said, all about special love for friends, family, everything as encapsulated in those songs. Tonight, we start with Callista Kazuko, who is my own daughter, and she's going to take us to London, where she is, with a song she wrote, which is perfect for the evening, because it's called Love is the Cure. Callista. Hello, everybody. Uh, I hope you're all doing well, and it's so lovely to see all, all these wonderful friends and family from around the world. I um, hope you've had a lovely love week. Um, so I wrote this song, Love is the Cure, uh, and I think it's, I think it might be my mum's favourite. So we'll say I wrote it for her. Yay! I write all my songs for my mum. Um, and it's just celebrating love, lovely, lovely love of all kinds. So not just romantic love, but just uh, love really is the cure. Um, so uh, we made a video. Um, we just wanted to do something super fun. So we dressed up as geishas. Uh, my friend Asami and I dressed up as geishas and my friend Venison is also in it being a mime um, and we just went around London and went up to strangers and started getting them to do fun things and getting them to talk about love and it was a really lovely day um, and the video is made by the amazing Philip Ryan King and it's it's I haven't seen it for a couple of years uh, since we put it out but watching it back for this uh, was so nice because you get to see Carnaby Street and Regent's Park and all these amazing places in London which are usually you know so buzzing and full of life which are all empty now so yes this is Love is the Cure. Shout it from the rooftops, love is the cure. Love is the cure, love is the cure. No more need for teardrops, love is the cure. Things are getting strange, feeling down. I don't have a doubt anymore. We've all been here before, living life to lose. But I figured it out. Love is the cure. Love is the cure, love is the cure Shout it from the rooftops, love is the cure What you're looking for 
was amazing. I think some of us had sound and some of us didn't, so I'm not sure what that's all about. Um, so for those of you who can hear me, welcome to this show that's all about love tonight to celebrate uh, Valentine's Day in as non-commercial way as we can possibly make it, I think, here in this space. Um, so the next artist we've got for you this evening, you may have seen before, he's been on the show. So Andy Clark, who um, plays mainly uh, rock guitar, is going to play some blues um, blues rock for you. Two songs. Over to you, Andy. Thanks, Angela. Uh, yeah, the first song Paris is going to play is a video I've recorded of a Peter Green song. Peter Green was one of the founding members of the original Fleetwood Mac, um, and he had hits with uh, Albatross, probably one of his most well-known songs, and Black Magic Woman, which became a big hit for Santana later. Um, this song wasn't written by him, it was actually written by a guy called Little Willie John, a, a black R&B singer back in the 50s. Uh, but it's a beautiful song. Um, if you want to play the video, Paris, uh, the words are particularly beautiful. This is Peter Green's Fleetwood Mac with I Need Your Love So Bad Just For Valentine's Day. I need someone's hand to lead me through the night I need someone's arms to hold and squeeze me tight And when the night begins, I'm at an end Because I need your love so bad some lips to feel next to mine I need someone to stand up and tell me that I'm lying I'm in the nights alone and it's time to go that's when I need your love so bad so why don't you give it up and bring it home to me? Write it on a piece of paper, baby, so it can be read to me. Tell me that you love me. Stop driving me mad because I. your soft voice to talk to me at night I don't want you to worry baby I know we can make everything alright listen to my plea baby bring it to me because I need your your love so bad This is JJ Kale's Magnolia. Uh, if you listen to the words, it's a very heartfelt song about someone he's missing uh, a great deal. Whipper, whipper. 
Thank you so much. And thank you, Angela, for bringing Andy onto the show. It's yes. just wonderful to learn new songs for me, being a violinist, classical violinist. And we now uh, go to Leicester, where Amalia Young, he's, you've heard Amalia. She's uh, a very popular performer on this show. And she's now with her sister up in Leicester, where they're locked down. And they're going, they've prepared a lovely program for us. Amali is in her final year at the Royal Academy of Music. I can't believe it. And her sister, Cecilia, is destined for a career in musical theater where she's heading. So thank you, Amalia and Cecilia, welcome. Hello, it's so nice to see everyone here and to be, to be sharing this music together. Um, we're gonna play a couple of um, some of our favorite songs about love. So we're gonna do um, first, uh, Make You Feel My Love by Bob Dylan. Could I 
go hungry, I go black and blue. I go crawling down the avenue. No, there's nothing that I wouldn't do to make you feel like Thank you, thank you so much. Um, I'll now hand over to Cece, who is going to, to sing uh, a solo. Um, so the next song is um, one of my favorite songs. It's by Carol King. It's Will You Love Me Tomorrow, one of her classic songs from her album Tapestry. So I hope you enjoy it. Tonight you're mine completely You give your love so sweetly Tonight the light of love is in your eyes But will you love me tomorrow? Tonight with words unspoken You say I'm the only one But will my heart be broken When the night meets the morning sun I'd like to know that your love is love I can be sure of. So tell me now, and I won't ask again. Will you still love me tomorrow? Will you still? Thank you. I'll now hand over to the next item on today's list. Thank you. That was absolutely beautiful, Cecilia and Amalia. Such a wonderful choice of songs. And it leads us into our final performer tonight, Alistair Sutherland, who, as it happens, this is a program about connections. Um, Alistair, you and Callista were housemates for several years. So Alistair is like a kind of son to me. And oh. I'm very proud of Alistair <laughs> because he's a young rising star in the operatic world in London, sings with Holland Park Opera and is a fantastic young artist musical ambassador for the Music Mind Spirit Trust along with Amalia and Callista. And I must say, it's always wonderful to see Professor Paul Grobe, our chairman of the Trust, on these shows, because do you, do you remember, Professor Grobe, that 
when we started the trust, you said, I think we should do a scientific study on love. It could be really important, love and music. So I think this is a beginning of it, just for you. And Alistair, I turn it over to you now. Well, Chica, thank you very much. What a wonderful welcome to the show. And thank you so much for having me back. Um, you know, it's an absolute pleasure to, and a, a real privilege to perform for everyone once more. Um, and I love the theme, love songs. I love a good love song. I've got a few really corny love songs um, just to really get everyone in the mood uh, for a kind of post Valentine's Day. It's like a Valentine's Day wind down. Um, so I'm going to start with, uh, with the song Al Di La. Uh, it features in the uh, 1962 film Rome Adventure, starring Suzanne Pleshett and Troy Donahue, and they're sitting in a bar, playing it cool, trying to be not to, trying to be coy with one another. And while uh, Emilio Pericoli sings the song Al di la, and if you don't know the song, the words Al di la feature quite prominently. Very helpfully, Suzanne Pleshett turns to Troy Donahue and she says, "What does Al di la mean?" And he says, "It means." Well, it's kind of hard to explain. Far, far away. Beyond the beyond. Beyond this world. That's how much he loves her in the song. Si potesse dire queste parole, al di là del bene più prezioso ci sei tu, al di là del sogno più ambizioso ci sei tu. Al di là delle cose più belle, al di là delle stelle, ci sei tu, al di là, ci sei tu per me, per me, soltanto per me, al di là del mare più profondo, ci sei tu. Al di là dei limiti del mondo, ci sei tu. Al di là della boda infinita, al di là della vita, ci sei tu. Al di là, ci sei tu. Thank you very much indeed. Thank you. Thank you. So next up, uh, on account of um, uh, testing the sound previously, I'm going to share my sound with you and perform a request for Lynn and Steve. Here it comes. Uh, it, the song is You Make Me Feel Brand New by The Stylistics for Lynn and Steve.
Thank you very much, everyone. And thanks, Lynn and Steve. I hope that um, was the song that you were hoping for. And thanks for sharing. Uh, again, yes, a new song for me. And wonderful. Another great thing about, as Chico was saying earlier, a great thing about these events and these evenings is that we get to learn new music and share music with one another that we wouldn't normally you know, know about and, um, you know, uh, have a response to how that music makes us feel. So, um, onwards, onwards and upwards, uh, back to my old audio configuration for a song by Ray Noble, another love song. It is The Very Thought of You. kitchen cooking spaghetti bolognese so Super Ted's gonna join in. Thank you very much indeed. Thanks so much for having me back. It's been a, a wonderful evening, so thank you so much. Yes, thank you very, very much indeed. That was a lovely evening. And fantastic songs, fantastic performances, and what a great variety. Um, Paris, can we put up our little chart, our analysis? Um, I've kept it very simple this week. Um, and that's just to go through the, the, the four performers, um, or five performers, um, in the ways that, you know, their singing voices, their performance is read. Just if we begin with a, a very, very strong piece from Kulista, um, really coming off kind of holler to begin the way that that started, uh, and um, an almost a bluesy field holler feeling to the beginning, actually. Um, and then going into this minimalist stuff, amazing. Um, uh, a really, really amazing piece of work. And then having the courage to stop the music and just have you walking down the street and then come back again. Fantastic. So what a brave, very, very original piece of video work. How very strong. Um, and then Andy, what fantastic, I love Magnolia. Uh, I think it's a fantastic song. Um, uh, and also, I just like the way it's around the two seventh chords. <laughs> and even I can get around that. <laughs> Very nice. Um, I managed to sing. Lovely voice. Andy, I hadn't heard you sing before. And that's um, really very nice, the way that that blends with the guitar. So you can see a very nice, mellow, middle of the register thing there with lots of positive vibes. 
And then going on to uh, Amelia, uh, to Amalia and Cecilia, um, and uh, what I was saying earlier uh, to Amalia and Cecilia was just how you know how they grow every time. I hope you don't mind. It's, this sounds patronised. I don't mean to be. Um, it just grows and grows every time I hear it. And and you know, I wonder you know where it's going to stop. And, and well, it won't stop. Of course, it'll just keep on growing. And um, and wonderful. There we have a very solid, relaxed performance. That are very secure. That uh, we can see in uh, that and, and a beautiful combination of violin, beautifully balanced. Um, and, and the lovely presentation, Cecilia, with the, this voice that's, that's growing. And also what's really nice is that you are supporting the voice well as well. Um, very often people doing what you're doing at the stage uh, neglect to do that. And, and it's really nice that you're supporting your, your voice properly, even on these half sung things. Some, you know, I think you're getting some good help from somewhere, I think, and that's really good and putting you in good stead. Um, so, you know, Good luck with all of that, going beautiful places, I think. Um, then Alistair, well, what can you say? What a star. And uh, and what I you know th love about Alistair's voice is that it's a beautiful voice for every situation. You know, um, you know there's a man for all seasons and Alistair has a voice for all seasons. Um, uh, it's just, just wonderful. And I just hope, you know, that, that the world will let you do that because of course it will want to snaffle you up as a great opera star, which I hope it does. Um, you know, and it should. But on the other hand, I hope you will not give up on on this stuff that you know, this more folksy pop stuff. Be no, because you do it so well, you know, and you make the stylistics sound good, you know. And no, of course they were good, great song, but but you know that suddenly it becomes something different, and and so please don't give up on that. That's really 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 a great gift you're giving us by by that breadth of repertoire. And and I, I know I do hope the opera houses recognise what you've got and use it, but please hold on to that too. So what a wonderful evening of great performances of people going to wonderful places with their their voices and doing great things. Thank you very much. Yeah, wasn't it? And what, what I really liked about the performances and the, and the choices as well is that it was it was a, a real mixture of what uh, romantic love inspires in us, which isn't always glorious. It's often torment <laughs> and rage and uh, yes, extreme joy. And the amazing thing is what happens in our brains when we fall in love is very similar to what happens when we have obsessive compulsive disorder. <laughs> it's, a, it's an extreme state of mind. But true love, I think, is what exists when being in love has kind of burnt out a little bit. You know, real romantic love um, expects of us something that is very special, which is accepting people as they are. And all of us, you know, are possibly afraid a little bit that we aren't really acceptable for who we are. That kind of security that comes with that is a very special thing. And um, I'm so pleased, Alistair, that you were able to celebrate that for somebody who joins the show very regularly for us, because I know that she has that in a very special way. Um, and I think the thing about, you know, romantic love, it's of no surprise that because it really throws us to all the extremes of emotion, that uh, the arts and music is obsessed with it. <laughs> Most of our creativity is prompted often by the throes and joys and storms of romantic love in all its forms whether that be music or visual art or poetry, um, it, is obsesses, it obsesses us and it prompts us to create something new from nothing. And isn't that amazing? So it's been great to celebrate that with you tonight. And um, thank you so much for joining us. We've got another couple of really good weeks coming up. Um, so we will see you next week. Bye bye for now. Bye.